Okay, we're here. Let me move my mic. I forgot to do that. Let's go. Will this will this make it all worth it? Probably not. But maybe I'll at least end the game feeling more positive than I felt the ending the last couple streams. This is the Chapter 5 Mystery Labyrinth. I mean, we hung out with Vivia last chapter. That was for last stream. That was pretty good. Why did you let go halfway through? It's for good luck. We can't just start breaking tradition, you know. <laughs> I've gotten used to this view. In the beginning, you were so terrified of the mystery labyrinth. Yeah, the the thing about the thing about Danganronpa is very often you would acquire more information during the class trial like other characters would discover things themselves and present it during the trial. So, it was very rare you went into a trial in Danganronpa knowing who did it and why and how. But every every one of these rain code mysteries, except for the first one, which was pretty well done, except for the first one, you enter, like, you enter knowing more or less what happened, or having a pretty good idea of it. The only other one where that isn't the case is chapter two in the school, which is one of the better chapters. It means I've been a phenomenal mentor. We do not know anything about Coco's memory yet. You already fucking uncovered it if you think for one second. No matter what the truth may be, I will expose it. Whatever the mystery may be, I'll never turn my eyes away. That's my mission as a detective. Can I count on your support again, Shinigami? Still relying on others after all this time. Master, are you ready? To give your life for the truth? Yes, I am. Like I like I said on the last stream, AI the Somnium Files is are, are games that Uchi that lean into Uchi Koshi's strengths and are therefore much better than Zero Time the Zero Escape. This feels like a game that leans into all of Kodaka's weaknesses while neglecting his strengths. I, I also I said this a bunch on the last stream, but the the I'm sick of games having the the magic dimension that isn't the real world where nothing matters. Like imagine how lame an Ace Attorney game would be if you weren't actually seeing the villains having a breakdown. You were seeing the metaphysical representation of them. 
having a breakdown. Like that would that automatically it makes it less cool. Seems to be deeply related to Kanai Ward itself. Just like you said, Master. If we keep going, we should be able to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. This place seems fit for the final mystery. Speaking of, why do you think this is the last mystery labyrinth? No reason. It just feels like that. I think I needed your powers in order to expose Panai Ward's ultimate secret in the first place. I've got a feeling that when we solve this mystery, our pact will come to an end. Am I wrong? You know I can't reveal anything about our pact. Regardless, if I train you to be a great detective, there'll come a day you won't need me anymore. Hmm. But there's still a ways to go before I can call myself a true detective. Also, just making your game in a way where you have to constantly be doing walk and talks is uh bad. I think I've heard that before somewhere. Don't you remember? You heard that from the person who left the strongest impression on you. Oh right, you're just a copycat. I'm copying nobody. I'm just echoing what they said. I guess you could say they influenced me. If that was said by a detective you admire, it seems like a good idea to aim for the same goal. Anyway, here it comes! It's the mystery protecting Kanai Ward's ultimate secret! Then we just need to solve it. Let's go, Shinigami! What was the cause of... Uh, yeah, I... Uh, I Like I said, the... The, the mystery of Kanai Ward began with... Danganronpa is elevated by all these delightful character interactions amongst all the characters. This game doesn't have those. Yeah, there's no mistake. Like, not only does it have many fewer characters, you spend so little time with them. And, like, it's not just interactions with the protagonist that are delightful. Their interpersonal interactions are quite often delightful. But that's just all missing here. And, uh, again, like I said, if... If Shinigami and Yuma were as compelling a duo of characters as, like, Komaru and Toko in Ultra Despair Girls, that would be a di another different case, but they aren't. Well, we know this. It's for the... She wanted to create an immortal army and requested that Amaterasu conduct homunculus research. Basically, it was for military purposes. So what exactly Time to reiterate that? every single thing we found out during the first chunk of this chapter. Yeah, I agree, Agumon. Like that, you do the investigation, then the first, the first big chunk of every mystery labyrinth is re re reiterating all the shit you learned. Like I don't know why Kodaka specifically has this brain disease. No other visual novel I've ever played has such a fixation on constantly reminding you what's happening. Because Makoto looks like you. The mystery phantom is the materialization of someone who wants to conceal the truth. Yeah, the yeah, like, 
a game, like, sure, it has to be because they're portable, but no other portable visual novel I've ever played did it. Like, it seems like he just adopted this un completely unnecessary concern and let it cut the throat of everything he wrote. Except Danganronpa 2 and V3 aren't nearly as bad as this game and Danganronpa 1. Like, it feels like we're back to flashing back to the person trying to stab Makoto 400 times. Yeah. Thank you, Monokuma XD3, XD Raw, for the follow. I'm sorry you missed me streaming Danganronpa. That was like three years ago. Don't go any further. There's nothing up ahead. Oh, uh, I don't have a partner this time, so uh. Let's give up and go home. So Shinigami is my assist. For it doesn't exist. Ow. This is a really personal one, like a very subjective one, but I also think the sword thing just isn't as cool as the as the gun thing in uh in Danganronpa. Also, also, like I keep complaining about Yuma doesn't have anything as as good as no, that's wrong. No, homunculi don't exist. I was wrong, completely wrong. Like, don't exist. <laughs> Thank you, Adam the Feverish, for the ten dollars. Do you have any proof they exist? It's true it was being researched. But that research was cancelled. God damn it. Safe. That's right. Oh, you see the hum? Do you have any proof they exist? It's true, it was being researched. The research was cancelled. No, not research. It was a complete Deep failure. Yeah, that's a that's another element where the Dang and Rampa formula kind of worked in this game doesn't like purely because of context is in the class trials you're convincing other people of something. Who the fuck are you convincing here? The mystery? The report Kubuki left me clearly said so. Uh. Like, I understand the idea that the Mystery Lambeth is trying to, uh, trying to conceal the mystery, but I feel like it should, it should be, so hmm, what's the word I'm looking really for? Was me. Why would I be a mystery phantom? I'm trying to find the words here. Like, it should be more that the, the mystery phantoms are trying to misdirect you. Or are, or are, or require you, or should be something that the protagonist hasn't, and ideally the player, haven't connected yet. But it's always like, blatant falsehood holding up the evidence that says it's a blatant falsehood. There's no point thinking about these things if you have no clues. Let's keep going. Anyway, yeah, the bluffing stuff in Chapter 1 was very strange, because that never happens again. It almost feels like Kodaka just wrote himself into a corner and didn't know how to progress this, the mystery from there. Because you never bluff a phantom ever again. Unless that happens right now. That was the only successful experiment. 
Those are some terrible Which I guess could happen. What I want to know is the identity of that I certainly wasn't able to predict any of the shit in Danganronpa's final chapter. The first one anyway, and th and V3. I kind of I kind of figured out most of most of everything by by uh in, in Danganronpa 2. The only successful specimen was from the world's greatest mind. You know, the real problem is that is that Yuma has so much lower levels of locked in than anybody than any of the other Danganronpa protagonists. He looks dumb. This time you directly said I was dumb. Tower. It's blocking the path. The yeah, I mean, Yuma is closest in temperament and behavior to Makoto, but Makoto still had moments where he locked in really hard. Like, Makoto had this sense of righteous indignation because people were trying to kill him and his friends with, with their deception. But... Yuma can't have that because part firstly because of the whole the whole him moping because he kills people with the mystery labyrinth thing but also just because the person he's arguing with aren't real Just wanted to say thank you for the hard work and laughs. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mahi123, for the The true identity of the world's greatest mind was written on a memo left by the dead criminal in the refrigerator. Uh, I'm gonna check out Hundred Line Academy, but not for like a couple months after it comes out. I, I never like, like I never like to play these sorts of games right when they come out. And again, the only reason I even am here doing Rain Code so close to it coming out is because I thought more people played it on Switch. I I thought. I thought that I was the strange one waiting for it to be on something that wasn't Switch. But it turns out I was not the strange one. I was most people that, you know, outside of Japan. Uh, you ran off again. What's going on? It's like he's trying to lead me somewhere. Well, my, lo my logic is real simple. Like, the fun of a stream for me as a viewer is either seeing a game I'm kind of interested in, which will never, but I'll never play, or seeing someone react to something, thing, something I'm already familiar with, so I get to see their reaction to this good part. I can go, oh, they're about to hit, get here. They're about to get there. I wonder how they'll, what they'll think about this. Like it's, it's the same sort of effect as people get rubbernecking their friends play Final Fantasy XIV or whatever. What's up? But if you do that at launch, people haven't played it yet. So they don't get that. I mean, the completed homunculus disappeared. You know, this is the first time I... Is this... Uh, this might be the first time Shinigami ran ahead of us. So it's the first time I noticed they have a convenient shadow, because uh, otherwise her ass would just be in Yuma's face. That's true. I didn't see him in the city. See? I told you that homunculus has nothing to do with this stuff. Besides, mind, he got blown up with that building, right? You know, I heard multiple people imply this game was somehow more reined in compared to Danganronpa, and it's really not. Let's talk about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. 
Like, this is about on the level of all the other Danganronpa games in terms of characters being freaks. The only real exception is, um... Ultra Despair Girls, and that felt like... Like, really extreme and not, like, normal. But I would say this isn't any more... Like, the characters in this aren't less freaks than anything else. Like, fuck, for fuck's sake, Desuhiko's like, Oh, you, re you look really nice dressed as that woman, bro. Do you want to do it? Like, that's straight out of the freakiest parts of Danganronpa. Yeah, if this game comes off as more medicated, it's just because there isn't nearly as much interpersonal character writing played for laughs as was in the up in Danganronpa games. Problem is Kanai Ward. What happened to the research being done here? Man, they're having us go through the, uh, the, 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 the settings of the other mysteries, even though they aren't related at all, and I'm not really sure why you, you're doing that. Yeah, I like the raincoat aesthetic. I like Shinigami. Amaterasu Corp grew in patience and conducted an experiment. I like years ago. the detectives that, that the main detectives. But the <sighs> Like, I don't know. Like, they don't really they don't get like the one that gets the most chance to shine is Desahiko for the reasons of one, he's there with you the entire time in that chapter, like also during the investigation, mostly. And he doesn't understand, like, he's not hyper competent the way Halara and Vivia are. Fubuki is also not hyper competent, but that chapter barely had a fucking mystery. And most of it was those weird QTEs evading the peacekeepers. That was known as Project Homunculus. Like, that's that's the big problem with, with this whole setup, is that you can't have Yuma surrounded by all these hyper-competent characters that figure everything out before the player. Wasn't Dr. Weska in charge of that? Like, it just kind of sucks that, ever, that they're like, yeah, I figured all this out, like, like an hour ago. Mm, I don't know the exact details. Also, again, just just the 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 setup where every single chapter, it's like, oh no, the peacekeepers got us. We better go into the mystery labyrinth. Oh, that didn't actually solve anything, and then something else solves solves it. Looks like that's where we're starting. Good luck, master. What? Uh, which solution? Try looking through the solution. It happened three years ago. I don't mind the detectives forgetting everything once they leave. It kind of bugs me they don't remember anything coming in. All the residents were forced to take a blood test. Maybe those mandatory blood tests had something to do with Project Homunculus? It's true both took place three years ago. It honestly feels like Kodaka maybe didn't understand that the reason everybody likes Danganronpa is not the mysteries, but the the fun character interactions. 
which means the blood test wasn't checking for some contagious disease among the residents. But that seems like that seems insane to not understand. Although I also kind of think because Kodaka is such close friends with Uchikoshi, I I honestly wonder if it isn't a little bit like he really likes the AI the Somnium Files and wanted to make something like that himself, and just couldn't nail it the way Uchikoshi could nail those games. Yeah, see, I don't give a shit about the mysteries in Danganronpa at all. I only care about the funny character interactions. So the further out I get from Danganronpa, the more I like them. Like, even, even Danganronpa 1, which I didn't like as much as the others, just gets better in my memory as time goes on because all the parts that annoyed me get polished off and I just remember, like, all the funny dialogue. And I'm I'm not sure this game's going to get that buff like because there's so much less of the of the funny dialogue. Yeah, but what's wrong? Well, if it's what I think it is, then horrible things were done for this research. Uh, yeah, but that game is the uh, Danganronpa S is like. Is like really light. It's like are the are the are the dial are like the scenes in that even voiced? Any of them even voiced? Because that's a big part of the appeal for me. And if it's just if it's just text, like I'm even less interested in it than I normally would be. After Amaterasu was outdone by their rival. They started searching for suitable DNA in every possible way. And that's what the blood tests were for. They created homunculi out of every citizen in town. Even if a few failed, all they needed was one successful specimen. That was the purpose behind Project Homunculus. I I once again think that Kodaka should make Kodaka should write for a Persona knockoff. Project Homunculus was like he should write for one of those um What's the publisher that publishes all that really low rent RPG stuff like the Caligula effect and Monarch and Reynatus and Akiba's beat like all that tier of stuff. There's like one per there's like one company that publishes all of those. No, not Idea Factory. Idea Factory's developer. The blank leaked mystery occurred. Billy Danderson Danganronpa is enormously fucking popular. Like he is not some Kodaka is not some widely maligned writer with no support. Like Danganronpa is obscenely successful. The defective homunculi from the for you, that's it. Furyu. For that event. Like they need, he needs to pair up with Furyu and make a uh, a persona I'll knockoff. Get to the point. Project Homunculus is a failure. Something unexpected occurred in our efforts to find suitable DNA. Although we successfully created homunculi. Like, Danganronpa was so successful, that's the entire reason that they got the Danganronpa artist to do characters for Fake Grand Order. Uh, like, who is it? It's Edmund Dantes and Cleopatra, I think, are the two? There might be more by now, but those are the two that I remember. The event Kurumi mentioned, where the city was ruined while everyone slept. 
the destruction of the giant shutters of the lab where the experiment took place. All of that was caused when the defective homunculi attacked Kanai Ward. Wasn't there like a Danganronpa Ted crossover? The entire city was destroyed by defective homunculi and no one's ever said a thing about it? What is the Blank Week mystery anyway? How can a whole week pass in a single night? Right. Those are the mysteries we need to unravel to get to the heart of the Blank Week. I still haven't gathered my thoughts about it. Kodaka also loves crass humor. Like, there's a reason that Danganronpa has, like, the exact same... The exact same Zoomer fan base that, like, South Park has. Like, the exact same. Where, where they really like these delightful character interactions, but then want everybody involved in it to die for some reason. Like, Kodaka really obviously loves, like, South Park and Family Guy. It's pretty charming, honestly. Oh, is it time for the, the, the barrel? You know, the Danganronpa games had multiple of these little bad mini games, but this one only has one. Oh, she's not smiling at all. You know, God Shinigami is also kind of bad. Like, I think it's funny. I'm honestly really disappointed that the, your your uh, partners don't respond to that. Like, they aren't there. That bugs me because we don't get to see them comment on it. And also, it's kind of lame that it's always the same really barren canyon. I was hoping those would it would be different chapter to chapter. See, I, I don't care that God Shinigami is dumb and easy. That's fine. It's fine just to have bu reasons to push buttons. They were all swapped during the blank week mystery. Right, but who or what was swapped? Everyone in Kanai Ward. Each resident was replaced by their homunculus. It happened during the blank week mystery. Huh? Everyone? Couldn't have happened. Yes, it's impossible. It's too ridiculous to think they all could be swapped with homunculi. That's nothing but a fantasy. Huh? Which is the real master? Obviously, it's me. The blank week mystery has nothing to do with homunculi. Your deduction is wrong. Everything you say is wrong. Also, this is a minor thing, but the structure of this game is doo-doo because of the Switch. Like, we constantly have to have these loading screens into each segment, and it's like, you should have structured your game differently. No. Like, you made this shit Switch ex Like, you knew this was going to be Switch exclusive at first. You should have... You should have made it a little different. They couldn't have been swapped! Impossible! It's a fantasy you made 
Yeah, it, the the repel the repel stuff feels like them trying to do something like the uh, the blue words in Danganronpa, but those functioned a lot better, even if they were still very often jank. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! I'd rather, I'd honestly rather have a button to just re just take damage and restart it. No. You're done. You can't be swapped. That flame doesn't hold up. No. There's proof they- No, that's a lie! It's all made up! Residence will- We're swapped with homunculi? That's impossible! It's so weird that he has fucking air- Something like, uh... The blank like air rave. Everyone was drugged and knocked out! Every resident fell asleep. So, there's a gap in their memories. That's why the memories connect across that leak. That's impossible if they were swapped. If they were swapped, they'd be different beings. Their memories would be totally different, too. I'll flash through this mystery. A homunculus retains all the memories their original had when their DNA was first extracted. That's why the specimens created by the experiment also have memories from before the blood test. It explains how their memories are linked. No, your reasoning is obviously wrong. They can inherit memories. What about the week no one remembers? After swapping, Ow. there wouldn't be a gap in their memories. This is the truth. Yeah, that's an. Uh, yeah, the, the in Danganronpa they had better counter arguments. That's a benefit of the person you're arguing with being a person. All sense of reason as well as their memories. The sunlight made them go wild as soon as they were born, wiping their memories during that time. There was sunlight shining through the lab. Maybe it was to test if the creatures had overcome that weakness. The experiment failed. In a previous experiment, a defective homunculus was exposed and died. 
trying to adjust for it worked against us. Made them even more violent, and... They went berserk and attacked Kanai War. When they eventually returned to their senses, their memories were reset to before the blood test. An entire week had passed by then. But since none of them remembered what happened, the... That's what caused the Blink Week mystery? <laughs> <laughs> What's with him? Why is he laughing? One of these days I gotta play the Ace Attorney games after one, because I've only played one in Dual Destinies. I wonder how those stack up. Yeah, I bought the Great Ace Attorney collection, and I'm going to buy the Ace Attorney City. Investigations collection. City of Homunculi. Even the Flatty? And Buzzhead too? Everybody? But no one mentioned anything like that! How'd they manage to hide it? I don't think any of them knew they'd been replaced by Homunculi either. That's because they lost those memories when they emerged as homunculi and went wild. What happened to the original residents? The ones who first lived in Kanai Wood? I think... they're gone. What do you mean, gone? When the defective homunculi went berserk and attacked Kanai Ward, the original residents died. All of them. That is serious. They're all dead? This is honestly pretty freaky. This is like serious exi existential dread shit. That explains how the homunculi replaced their originals after they returned to their senses. By the time the homunculi regained consciousness, the originals were gone. With the exception of those like Kurumi's grandfather, who refused the blood test and vanished completely. That's because those who didn't have their DNA extracted had no homunculus to replace them. So if they were killed without a substitute in place, they were considered missing. Oh. I thought he was, like, kicked out, but it turns out he was killed. This is the tragedy that befell Kanai Ward three years ago. That's the truth behind the Blank Week mystery. Another thing is I don't even think the game uses the mystery labyrinth to its full potential. Like, you're just running down these hallways. Like, this is the first one that, that is kind of using it more interestingly. But that failed... It, it, this should have been, like, the standard and not the exception. It. You exposed the mystery behind the city. You are an uninvited guest here. You're the enemy. But it's not over yet. You still haven't reached the truth behind this city. I won't let it happen. I will shelter the mystery of Kanai Ward. Hey, this is minor, but it also kind of bugs me how in the first chapter, fake Zilch gets like a super form and it feels like a lot of characters, like a lot of the culprits later don't. Look, I keep telling you. Which one is it? Well, I guess I'll have to just guess. Swapping places is just in your head. Uh. You have no proof of what's even took place. Ow. Researchers who saw failures. That's why it's impossible. 
Richard, I wouldn't fight the city. No one was killed by the homunculi. This is the truth. I mean, Asaniko, the, the, the RE games do have Blue Umbrella, who are supposed to be Good Umbrella, and I feel like RE8 was like, yeah, they're not responding anymore. Um, We think they might have been taken over by Revived Wesker. <laughs> it clearly shows the doctor dying at the hands of a defective homunculus who went out of control. But we met the doctor at Amaterasu's lab. Even though he should have been dead already, the fact that we met him after he died proves he and the other citizens were all replaced by homunculi. Uh, I see. So the doctor at the lab was also swapped out. That's why he didn't know about the results of the experiment. And also why he knew nothing about the blank week mystery. He didn't even remember the terrible things he did. He caused the city's greatest tragedy. But maybe what little conscience he had left urged him to leave evidence. No, not yet. I refuse to give up. I honestly think they just shouldn't even do any more Phoenix Wright games. Like, he, like he's done. Let him be done. Like, Apollo being kind of a bad replacement doesn't mean the conceit that replacing Phoenix was bad. Like, the like the idea behind it that Phoenix had, like, a moved past being the protagonist of these games is fine, and I'm even fine with him showing up sometimes as, like, a mentor character but it really doesn't seem like they have any ideas. Like, it just feels like they're spinning the wheels and making filler arcs. Why does the other master want to protect Kanai Ward so badly? Oh, oh. You don't fully understand it yet. You know nothing about Kanai Ward. Yeah, like, Shu Takumi do doesn't even want to use Phoenix anymore, darkness. so just... I think it would help if the replacement for Phoenix had, like, a significantly different temperament than him. Because Apollo and even Athena kind of have similar temperaments and, like, energies as, as main characters. I feel like, I feel like the, the, they need to go in, like, the opposite direction and have a character, and have a main character who's, like, a lot more sardonic. Like they should have almost like the like the new the new protagonist of like assuming they make like another like a present day Ace Attorney game. They need to make like they need to give him like like them give them like an Edgeworth like temperament almost. The homunculi stopped their attack thanks to the clouds covering the city. Like, that's, like, Athena might be, Athena is kind of different from Phoenix, but she's still a dipshit in a lot of the same ways. I'll expose him for who he is. We're not done yet. The city's darkness goes even deeper. This is the answer. The dead in Kanai Ward are transported to the abandoned village, a restricted area. Whenever a defective homunculus revives, its intelligence decreases, turning it into a zombie. The city would have been overrun with zombified homunculi if the bodies were left alone. That's why the bodies have been getting sent to the abandoned village. I think it's funny that, like, I, I really am curious, like, what happens if you just mulch one of these this homunculi? to get rid of the bodies as fast as possible. Did they know they'd turn into zombies? No, they were probably just following orders. They were told that bodies in this city rot quickly. 
The people of Kanai Ward, including the Peacekeepers, didn't know that they're all homunculi. Yeah, the thing is they're immortal, so people don't get sick or die of old age here. The only re only way somebody can die is if they're murdered. Or there's like an a physical accident. So there shouldn't be that high a fatality rate, which is why they can do this at all. You think that's enough to defeat me? You think that's enough to expose Kanai Ward's darkness? <laughs> more, 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 more! Kanai Ward's darkness goes far, 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 far deeper than that! I assume there, we still have That's to deal right. with the whole great global mystery Kanai angle and the fact that points. Makoto is clearly a clone of, or a homunculus names. of Yuma and how Yuma is clearly actually number one. So I assume we, that'll be a big chunk. The main source of nutrients for homunculi is human flesh. That's why everyone craved those meat buns so much. Morning. Homunculi are predisposed to eating human flesh in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. I always love this. I, I love angles like this because it makes no fucking sense. How is human flesh chemically different from other flesh in a way that matters? At least vampires are supernatural. Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition. Grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. Uh, zebra cheese, they announced it during, uh, uh, I think the last Nintendo Direct they announced it. It's called Hundred Line Academy. It's like a Danganronpa fused with like a strategy game. That's a primal instinct. Homunculi can never defy. What are you? Mystery phantoms are supposed to prevent mysteries from being exposed. And yet. It's like you're guiding me to the truth. <laughs> it's not just the meat buns. Residents of Kanai Ward also have other characteristics. Of course, I'm sure you've already noticed them. Oh, look, it's the bomb. A bomb? It's trying to boom kill you. But you can defuse it by solving the mystery. You've seen it time and time again. Their physical abnormalities. Physical abnormalities? Their blood is pink. You hack. Ow. Oh. See the see if it was in any other context, I might like I might be think it was cool but th in this specific game it's like what what so even even if we assume that yuma forgot that blood is normally red like even if we completely ignore that aspect of it the other characters should have fucking noticed Like, wait, why is, why is there fucking blood pink? Huh? Pink blood? Hey! Everyone did have pink blood! Oh, don't try to paper over it. Now that I think about it... Oh, fuck really off! Normal. Huh, I never thought about why everybody had a fucking blood color that is unnatural blood being pink instead of red <laughs> is obviously strange yeah that's right 
From the very beginning, I thought something was off. Since I first saw a corpse in the city, I had my suspicions about the corpse <sighs> here. Is that a real corpse? It's not some mannequin, is it? This blood is real? How? Why? I figured it was due to Shinigami haunting me. Okay. Like it was somehow That's fine. Things. That is fine. But there are four other fucking detectives, all of whom saw... Well, actually, Fubuki never saw any blood, but whatever. She's a bimbo. And I can also buy that Vivia just didn't care. But why the fuck did Desahiko or Halara not go, Hey, what the fuck? Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body? Uh, yeah, there's also the element, why didn't people notice that they have pink blood? Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary. I was just saying there was nothing odd about there being a corpse. The color of human blood doesn't matter to me. This Ud Kodaka man, there are situations where I would have clapped during this reveal. You did, you want... If you can't figure out how to make it work, don't fucking force it, my man. I mean, it, it it's partially a censorship thing. I'm not sure it's a censorship thing in this case. It's mostly a stuff. I'm gonna be real. It's mostly because Kodaka watched uh, Monogatari and got to the episode where Ar Araragi gets fucking gored by the uh, by the rain devil that's possessing the girl with the with the hand. Because that also has pink blood. Like when he's getting brutalized. Like that's the actual reason it's pink, but it's also partially censorship. But why didn't the other master detectives mention anything about the color? I forget if we cut dumbest twist or dumbest thing in a game from Game of the Year, but I might have to bring it back just for this. It wasn't mentioned at all while I was investigating crime scenes with Halara. Oh, right. Maybe. The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people, too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that... Oh, fuck off. Everybody just assumed it was fine. He made this one off line about it being weird, so nobody thought it was strange that everybody had pink blood or the mechanics behind it at all. Hey, the fact that you're having to justify this twist so fucking hard after revealing it is probably evidence you shouldn't have written it. In fact, maybe it wasn't just the master detectives, Chief Yako and the other people in town. Maybe they all believed it too. For example, they could have said there were some chemical properties in the rain that causes blood to change color. That's fucking st Oh, I'm so pissed! In that case, people wouldn't find it strange that their blood was pink. <laughs> yes, homunculi have pink blood. Maybe they were made that way to differentiate them from their originals. Now, you're finally seeing the big picture. <laughs> I've been waiting for this! I'm so fucking annoyed. I'm so fucking annoyed. Kodaka, man. I, I like Danganronpa a lot. A lot. You have to do better than this, my man. You, like, if you have to justify your, if you have to spend 20 minutes having the characters explain why the twist totally is smart for real, you wrote a bad twist. 
like what what is it that dan always does when something like this happens he just starts going it makes sense it makes sense it makes sense please take our game seriously master's mystery phantom sure doesn't seem scared of these mysteries being solved No, the very tasty pie. Yuma is a normal human. He has red blood. That was actually a clue in the first case. <laughs> oh, I bet Kodaka is so fucking smug that all the character that that's why all the characters in case one died via burning. So you wouldn't have to explain why these motherfuckers had red blood here and then everybody had pink blood later. Oh, you think you're so fucking swift. You think you're such a fucking genius. Oh, oh, oh you fucking hack. Anyway, we gotta beat him. Otherwise, you'll get caught in its destruction. Fine. It's time to expose the truth of Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. It's over! <laughs> <laughs> you? You think you can do it? Like, if they had actually at any point had Yako see blood and say, oh, they tell us that it's pink because of the rain. If at any point they had done that, then I would be a lot more forgiving. But they just waited until this point and then raw dogged it. And I get it, like addressing the fact the pink blood is weird would make people suspicious, but you can't just not do it. Oh no, this is the last case of the game. I don't think we're about to be I don't think it's about to be over. I think there's gonna be a whole nother big chunk. I do these recaps out of kindness, you know. I'm just saying, it'd be nice to get a little appreciation. Oh, sorry. I thought this was all a part of your process or something. Anyway, time to boom kill this mystery phantom. Let's expose all the facts and finish this once and for all. Time for the very last Let me just It all started 10 years ago. The UG tasked both its own research facility and Amaterasu Corp to Uh there's there's going to be a whole nother chunk of this, I'm sure, because we still haven't addressed Makoto or the actual mystery that this mystery dungeon is for, which is for the, all the bodies that are being brought in from out of town. Or the fact that Yuma is actually number one. We haven't addressed any of that. And I feel like we gotta do all that before it's over. They were trying to create an immortal army of homunculi that could just come back to life, right? If that happened, the death gods would be out of a job! By having the two organizations compete with each other, they hoped to rush development along. And it was the UG's research facility that managed to create a homunculus first. That drove Amaterasu into a panic. So, three years ago, Project Homunculus was conducted under Dr. Weska's direction. For a 
contagious disease. They took blood from all the people in Kanai War. They were turning the town upside down, trying to find DNA that would help them make a monkey lie. They got beat to the punch and were rushing for results. Huge death flag if you ask me. Ultimately, the experiment was a failure. Efforts resulted in nothing more than a massive defective homunculi. Defective homunculi have two fatal flaws. One, they revive after death with fully repaired bodies, but their minds deteriorate and they become zombies. Uh, go ahead and link Kodaka talking about his dumb twist. The sad thing is I'm, I don't really want to ream this game on Twitter because Kodaka is name searching rain code to see people and quote tweeting people's impressions. So I don't want to be like, this fucking sucked, my man. Yeah, he's quote tweeting like, thank you with everybody who finishes Raincode and is real happy with it. So I don't want to be like, I finished Raincode. It's Kodaka's worst game. They attacked Kanai Ward and murdered all of the residents. A certain last man then created a rain cloud generator by making some extreme modifications to a public bathhouse. He covered the whole city with those clouds. Clouds blocked out the sun and brought the defective homunculi out of their berserk state. Their memories reverted back to when their blood had been drawn one week before. The blank week mystery refers to period where they went out of control and lost their memories. So basically, Hanai Ward's ultimate secret is three years ago. The defective homunculi of all Kanai Ward residents murdered their human counterparts. Exposed to sunlight at the very moment of their creation, they went berserk and wiped out the entire city. Rain clouds then blocked out the sun. The I don't understand how that's possible. Like that alone strains credulity. But I, but that's that's enough of a contrivance that I'm not going to nitpick at it. But I don't like. They, the city had a military. That Amaterasu building had multiple, like, secure zones. They got into all of that? It's actually conclusive evidence that every resident is a homunculus. This is the truth behind Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Phantom now. I figured he'd show up eventually. You sure took a while getting here. Maybe I shouldn't expect much of you. Oh shit, he also has a blade. That this would have been cool at any point besides the fire into the game. A solution blade? Huh? Why does he have a solution blade? We shall see which of us should be destroyed. Let's wield our solution blades to find the answer. Don't tell me. You didn't assume you already arrived at the truth, did you? 
You promised you would expose all truth. Is this really the best you can do? Well, perhaps you're not as capable as I thought. I, man, this sir is a lot better than just than just fighting a weird phantom. Oh yeah, you should be more curious. After all, you understand nothing about me. For I am Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. You, you're the ultimate secret. I will give it this. This is a lot more. This is a lot brisker and more interesting than the end of Danganronpa One, where we were just talking about the biggest fucky wucky of all time multiple times. Honestly, it's kind of fucked up how fast they want you to read. I read really fast, and even I am I'm a little bit hesitant. Yes, that's it. Like Bob could straight up not play this game. I came to Kanai Ward during the Blank Week mystery three years ago, all to resolve that case. Resolve that case? I knew they'd regain control once sunlight was blocked. So, I created the rain cloud generator to gently cover Kanai Ward in rain. It's more like you caged them in. Without me, Kanai Ward would never have been rebuilt. I used everything at my disposal to cover up the tragedy that took place here. But there was no way for me to fix the entire city on my own. Why did you do it? Why do such a thing? Do you want to know? I did it to protect Kanai Ward, of course. Because I love this city. I'd do anything for it. But you already know that. I think it's... Uh, I... Man, where was the... Uh, where was this Advent Children shit in every other point in the game? is he supposed to do? Oh no, he changed his color. That's meaningful somehow. Me, Kanai Ward would have been wiped from the map. Yuji planned to flatten Kanai Ward to cover up the failed homunculus experiment. But thanks to my negotiating, they saw the benefits of isolation. He would peacefully secure the defective homunculi, and they wouldn't have to spend a cent. Besides, it'd be a terrible thing if the UG's inhumane research was made public. And through that negotiating, you became CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. Your goal was to rule over Kanai Ward, wasn't it? You still don't understand me. Try to remember. Wait, Master! There's something weird about this mystery phantom. Why are we able to talk to him like this? None of the others. Because he's not a fucking mystery phantom. Huh? Try to remember. What did I do after I became CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? Down the homunculus research. I didn't want to create any additional defective homunculi, so I ended the research and sealed off the test site. Dr. Weska and Yomi objected, but as the CEO, I was able to quash their complaints.
This is so goofy. That's how I rebuilt Kanai. But at least this is better than the hacky twist. It is a city for homunculi who have nowhere else to go. You did it to protect the people in the city? That's right. I did it all out of the love I have for this place. That is the undeniable truth. I've never hid my love for Kanai Ward from you at any moment. Yet, you never quite seem convinced about it. What he says makes sense. He's not lying. The experiments created the defects, so we transformed Kanai Ward to protect them. But if that's true, what crime is he guilty of? Why have I drawn my sword against him? Hey, Master! Don't let that mystery phantom fool you! Try to remember why he started this in the first place! He's a phantom! He's just trying to prevent you from exposing the truth! Yeah, you're right. He's no saint. He's a dictator who will do anything to achieve what he wants. No, that's not right. Oh, this is neat. You may wear the mask of a saint, but it can't hide the crimes you've committed. You are the mastermind behind the global kidnapping case the WDO has been pursuing. People were abducted across the world and turned into food for homunculi at your factory. I had no choice. They must eat in order to survive. Why didn't you steal corpses then? That would be a lot less ghoulish than stealing condemned criminals. Besides, I never took innocent people. I gathered criminals with no chance of rehabilitation and simply accelerated their sentencing. You could also clone people. They established that cloning is a real thing. You saw the memo as well. Besides, they were all on death row anyway. It doesn't make it right! At any rate, that's not just my crime. Huh? The procurement of these ingredients was done with the full cooperation of the World Detective Organization. The WDO? I couldn't have asked for a better source of information for the ingredients. You were working with the World Detective Organization? Actually, it's more accurate to say I took advantage of them. No, they establish homunculi and, and clones are different. So I assume uh, chemically they would be different as well. Like functionally. Liar! The WDO wouldn't let themselves be used by you! You just flaunted their name to capture criminals! In fact, the WDO itself tasked us with investigating the global kidnapping case! If you were their accomplice, they wouldn't have issued that directive. And we would never have come to Kanai Ward to corner you like this. You still think you've got me cornered? <laughs> you really are clueless. The way I see it, you were all gathered at Kanai Ward for other reasons. Very well. Go on and use that simple brain of yours to expose my schemes! Man, I wish any part before this game was this cool. Because this is bringing it back even after the really hacky twist, but I'm, I'm also kind of be like... Why was the first, all the rest of the game like dry oatmeal? You hinted at unsolved mysteries and other global cases to lure us to Kanai Ward. Your true goal was to cast out Yomi, director of the Peacekeepers. This is- It was in your way. We didn't do anything to do that. 
Stop pretending we had any role in taking him down. We didn't. We at most distracted him for 20 minutes while you walked into another room and found his giant folder of crimes. Correct. Well, almost. You're so close. Yomi wasn't in my way. He was in Kanai Ward's way. If all he did was use the peacekeepers to push his weight around, that would have been fine. But of all things, he was working with Dr. Weska, trying to leak homunculus information. If that happened, the unified government wouldn't remain silent. Kanai Ward's secrets would be exposed to the world. Still, I don't. I this guy is not a phantom. Myself. The peacekeepers had grown too strong in this city. Like, we already saw that he can still move in the frozen time. This is not a phantom. This is the actual Makoto. You pitted us against the peace I'm waiting any second for us to have to point out that he's the real Yomi. one. So everyone gathering here, it was all part of that mask guy's plan? Because you achieved your goal, you're trying to eliminate us? Now that we've outlived our usefulness? Yeah, see, he can bleed. to the other master detectives. Were you the one who bombed WDO headquarters? They knew too much. I feel remorse for what had to be done. But the WDO was in the city's way. In the way? I had no choice. This city must remain a secret in Yeah, we, he's survive. he's the homunculus version of of, of Yuma. Cuz he's a homunculus of number 1 and Yuma is the real number 1. Having detectives snoop around everywhere was a nuisance. That's why I made them disappear. You'll pay for this. Talking to a mystery phantom might be pointless, but I swear you'll regret this. You are evil incarnate. You used the WDO and slaughtered criminals like animals. You even killed my friends. Hey, Yuma. Um, we're already past, we're already past the pink blood twist. Did you not notice that every single one of your friends, corpse bones, quote unquote corpses, were bones covered in, in pink blood? Like, have you failed? Did you fail to notice that at any point when you were going through their pockets of their perfectly perfectly intact clothing atop the skeletons that were covered in pink blood. For all the crimes you've committed, I'll bury your soul here! <laughs> I didn't expect to hear something so valiant from the likes of you. Tell me, do you really think you can do this? You're nothing but an empty shell of a man. Don't give me that! I'll Master, don't let him egg you on. It's a trap. There's something off about this mystery phantom. He doesn't seem normal. Huh? What do you mean? This. People of Kanai Ward! They're all mystery phantoms! There's too many of them! I've never seen anything like this! All of them? Kanai Ward must remain shrouded in mystery for everyone here to live in peace. Even they haven't realized they are homunculi yet. No. They must never know. It would be too cruel cool of fate. Their very existence is this city's mystery. They are the mystery? Take a good look. Aren't they pitiable? <laughs> Bro, the, this is a PS5. You could have actually rendered them for this version and not just had an animated GIF. GIF. Your label is defective. It must continue to live in a land without sun. 
You made them that way! To protect them! <gasps> All of this was to protect them. Oh, that's a funny one. Do you understand how much I've endured for them? I've committed atrocities to keep them fed. If any died, they were swiftly taken to the abandoned village. When anyone asked about the color of their blood, I said it was caused by the rain. This is all for their sake! I did it for them! But you closed down the research instead of trying to find a way to fix them? They're outcasts from this world who can only survive within a cage of rain! <sighs> Master, don't start feeling sorry for phantoms. We're still inside the mystery labyrinth. If you can't solve the mystery, you'll be absorbed by the labyrinth and your soul will vanish. I know. I've already made up my mind. I will expose the truth. Whoa! Master's mystery phantom is back! <laughs> this must be a mystery phantom created from your reluctance. My reluctance? What good will come from solving mysteries? Who would be made? Oh, I like the eyeshadow being question mark shape. That's actually a really neat element of it. Shut up! How many people have died because of the mysteries I've solved? He's getting bigger! It's due to your uncertainty. Why must mysteries be exposed? Why can't you just leave them alone? I didn't belong in this city in the first place. <sighs> Master! It's true. I still don't know what's right. But I will fight. I'll fight against my uncertainty. I won't let any mystery phantom deceive me. If you draped this city in mystery, then I will unveil it with the truth. Think you've got what it takes? Well said, Master. But what mystery do I even solve here? There's still one unanswered question. It's about him. You still haven't confirmed his true identity. Who? Makoto? That's true. I still don't know. Does, who he why is. do you think that would matter? I've never you're right. I have to figure out who he is. Thank you, Shinigami. It's my job to keep you relying on me, Master. You've got quite a capable assistant. Oh, mighty detective. I hope she doesn't end up becoming your burden. Just stop. There's no need for the truth. The truth isn't needed in this city. Let's do some deep cleaning on that stupid looking oversized trash. Again with that? Come on. Okay, Shinigami. Let's lay it all out. Ah. Hey, hey fucking Kodaka, can you not do this in the middle of your scene that was going pretty well? to defend Kanai Ward is because you're also a homunculus. That's why the blood you shed earlier was pink. The color of your blood proves it. Makoto Kagutsuchi, you are a homunculus! No, stop. If you expose anything else, you will only be hurting yourself. Huh? You're so close. Come on. You're within reach of my mask. Oh, 
Oh no, it's the it's the UG lab. I'm sorry. You're so close. Come on. You're within reach of my mask. I wore during the blank week mystery. You are able to move about, unaffected by sunlight, which means you're not a defective homunculus. Mm-hmm. What else? Three years ago, right before you came to Kanai Ward, a homunculus escaped from the UG's research facility. It was the only perfect homunculus specimen. That's what you are! Yes, keep going. You can reach my mask if you just go a bit further. DNA of the WDO's number one. Therefore, you must be the homunculus of number one, Makoto Kagutsuchi! He's a copy of number one? He doesn't look like the number one we saw. So maybe his youth was restored when he became a homunculus. If you looked just like number one, It'd be easy for you to manipulate the WDO from the shadows. That's how you procure dangerous criminals as food for the homunculi here, isn't it? I see. Number one. So that's my identity, huh? Right, right. Things are turning out as I expected. It's so refreshing. I'm gonna throw the cat out when real quick. I'll be right back. But it's not over yet. You're still not done. You still haven't seen it! What's with him? No matter how many mysteries I solve, it doesn't... Uh, yes, I'll post pictures of, of the boys, the cats, later on Twitter, perhaps. Master, I'm sorry, but this... This could be really bad. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Something strange about this phantom. What is he hiding? Let's figure it all out. Concentrate, Master! Here! Yeah, that is a suspicious spot. Which, that wound, why is he still bleeding? All the other mystery phantoms I struck with the solution blade never bled like this, so... He's not a mystery phantom. Huh? I'm sure of it. He wasn't created by the mystery labyrinth. Then, that's the real Makoto? Took you long enough to figure that out? Oh, yeah, you're a dipshit. You enter the mystery labyrinth. I'm getting bored of all this talk. Let's finish things. Next time, I'll come at you full force. This will decide Kanai Ward's fate. Only one of us will leave here alive. Tell me your answer! 
Master, you can't just go take a swing at him. We're inside the mystery labyrinth, so you have to solve mysteries. What mysteries? How a living person could make it inside here. You just might defeat him by answering that question. Okay. All right, I'll try. This is it. Okay. This sure looks like where the this sure likes looks like a devil may cry boss Only arena. Those who signed a pact with Shinigami can enter the mystery lab, but there are exceptions. As the one who made the pact, those whose hands I've held with my coalescence can also enter the mystery labyrinth. <laughs> Master, when did you use coalescence with him? Well, that's the strange part. I've never used coalescence with him. He doesn't have any ability I'd want to borrow to begin with. Let's see if you can overcome that mystery. Well, obviously it's him. This is it. I didn't use coalescence, and yet Makoto was able to enter the mystery labyrinth. So Makoto used coalescence on me? He has the same power? Huh? That's right. You got it. I used coalescence on you earlier. We should turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion. Aren't you worried about Kurumi's body? Here, lend me a hand. I said, lend me a hand. And then you did. No, I'm guessing that since Yuma is act secretly number one, I'm guessing that coalescence is actually Yuma's power. That was when you allowed me to activate coalescence. And since he's a clone of Yuma, he would have Yuma's coalescence. But why are you able to use it? That power belongs to Shinigami. That's where you're mistaken. Coalescence isn't Shinigami's power. Huh? Coalescence is the forte of the World Detective Organization's number one. Number one's... What do you mean? If it's not Shinigami's power, then how can I use it? Shinigami? Why aren't you saying anything? What are you hiding? I can't say. I promised. Promised? What's wrong? It's the end for you if you can't figure this out. I will end you! Number one's fortune. Are you stupid? Come on, kid. Why Shinigami hide that from me. Wait. Could it be? Oh, his eyes are keyholes. Is this related to my lost His eyes? pupils are keyholes. Stylized, but that's what they're supposed to be. Now catch it out of the air and dual wheel. homunculus was based on the DNA of the WDO's number one. Therefore, you must be the homunculus of number one, Makoto Kagutsuchi! That's impossible. So you finally reached the conclusion? Behold, the truth that you've been seeking all along. You are number one from the WDO, and I'm the homunculus created from your DNA. I'm? Number one of the World Detective Organization? 
That's why I can also use your coalescence. Even this solution blade was obtained with this power. B but on the video feed, number one looks like an old man. That was a double. You're the one who put him there. Throughout the history of the WDO, those who become number one have rarely shown their faces to the public. They all had many enemies, making it problematic to be seen. It's standard protocol for directors to have doubles. And that old man was your double. Makes sense. Wait, what about me being a detective in training? Chief Yako said he investigated my background. But a detective in training? Detective in training? That's you. Yuma, looks like you've been working toward being a detective. Obviously, you were God. You may be. Yeah, the boss of, the of an organization can't you cook the book. Your stripes just yet. It's true that there is a trainee detective by the name of Yuma Kokohe. It's also a fact that he was summoned to the Amaterasu Express. Then you swapped places with the person named Yuma. I. What? With him? It seems he also came to Kanai Ward. It's that I'm fucking sure ramen shop with the kid with the weird face, isn't it? So, I'm not Yuma? Then the real Yuma Coco Head. Well, it can't be him. He's a homunculus. He's a homunculus. He's not. He's a... It's so fucking stupid. It has to be this one. That hoodie person was this guy. We stalked him in an earlier chapter. I guess that dude definitely looks like a cocoa head, so I guess that makes sense. Was the man who kept running from me? That's correct. You are number one of the WDO after all. He's quit his job as a detective and opened up a food stand in Kanai Ward. He's the real trainee detective, Yuma Coco Head. You concealed your true identity and used him as a means to enter Kanai Ward. You knew you'd lose your memories signing the pact with Shinigami, and you couldn't just enter as number one. Even though your face isn't known, your cover could be blown if you use your forte. That's why you disguised yourself as the trainee. And of course, you ensured he would keep it a secret as well. That's how he switched places? That's just my theory anyway. Our minds work the same way, after all. I'm sure we would come up with the same plan. Oh, he also has all of my all of you, all of number one's memories too, because that's how it works. So yeah, he would be mentally identical. <sighs> However, I'm sure he didn't expect you to come to Kanai Ward after swapping places. He arrived late on the original fifth car heading to Kanai Ward. Though a trainee, he's still a detective. He must have been wondering what happened after your agreement. But because of his promise to number one, he couldn't tell anyone about the situation. So all he could do was watch from afar. No, I think the early cooking gag was to allude to the fact that the real Yuma was a good cook. Our Yuma can't cook for shit. Is that why he always fled when he saw me? Because other the, the homunculi do eat other things. Because when uh, Wendy, or Kurumi, confirms that she only eats a meat bun every other day. He must have been relieved seeing you get along with the other detectives. So he decided to make a living in this town using the special talents listed on his profile. I reviewed your profile in the inability. Your record claims that you're a great cook. Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? That's the truth. Y you realized I was... How couldn't he? He, he? You have his face. Are you really shocked? Naturally, I knew at first sight. Because you and I have the same face. 
I'd hoped for a more heartfelt moment when I finally met my original. But that wasn't the case. I suppose that's because I knew you were a threat to Kanai Ward. If you knew, why didn't you do something about it? Why let us just roam free? As I said, you were useful to me until Yomi was So killed. the world's greatest detective with the smart the smartest dude in the world couldn't come up with a better plan for getting rid of Yomi than what we did? Just fucking poison him, my man. Have him fall down a flight of stairs. Have him fall down an elevator shaft. You really... made this shit convoluted. But more importantly, I was waiting for this moment. Waiting? To confront you here within the mystery labyrinth. What do you mean? I wish for you to vanish forever inside the labyrinth. Huh? If you vanish into the mystery labyrinth, I won't have to kill you directly, which completes my perfect crime. Just like how you killed those other criminals. Perfect crime? With the original gone, I will become the real one. I will become both the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation and number one of the World Detective Organization. I'll be invincible! Oh, is he gonna become really evil for no reason now? That was your goal all along? Exactly. I'll let you enter both the restricted area and this mystery labyrinth. Using Coalescence to come here was part of my plan. Oh, so I can kill you here! You think you can take over the world or something? I swear every kind of boss is the same. Oh, not at all. With the WDO under my control, there would be no need for anyone to keep sticking their nose in our business. The mystery of Kanai Ward will forever remain a secret. This is definitely going to end with Yuma not deciding not to reveal the secret. In fact, I bet he's going to have to use that secret door that uh, Shinigami mentioned earlier on. I only have one wish. To protect the citizens of this city. For the homunculi of Kanai Ward to live in peace. So what are you going to do when they realize that nobody's getting older? I'll do anything to accomplish that. I don't care what I must sacrifice. I will protect Kanai Ward. And you will die here. Your death is necessary for Kanai Ward's peace. <laughs> uh, he has to do a perfect tr crime because the World Detective Organization will keep snooping around Kanai Ward. And if he kills Yuma and replaces him as number one, he can order the World Detective Organization to stay the fuck away. To this city, you are the real evil. Detective. Oh no, they said no, they they confirm that you keep growing until you're like 18 or however old. However old, like fully matured is, and then you just stop aging. If you expose the truth, many people will suffer. I won't let you do that just to satisfy your ego. No matter how hard you try to destroy this peaceful world, I'll fight back using your own brain against you. Homunculi may not be human. But they have the right to live, too. I won't let anyone take that away. Even if you are number one of the WDO. <sighs> Sorry, but your plan isn't going to work. I won't let you kill Master in this labyrinth. The real one won't just stand by, no matter what the imposter is plotting. Master? If this is the truth, the truth I've been seeking all this time. Maybe I should sacrifice myself here. What? If what he said is true, it sounds like I'm the one threatening the peace in this city. You're finally starting to get it. Yes, that's the truth. You are a threat. Trying to destroy this wonderful world. W what are you saying? You discarded your pride as a detective and made a pact with a death god to go around killing people. You are dangerous. 
If you're not stopped, you will destroy all of Kanai Ward. I mean, the human meat, alas, they, they keep bringing in condemned criminals. That's why I must defeat you. To protect this city. It, it doesn't seem to be everything they eat, so... It seems like you they can get away without a huge amount? He's wrong, Master. You don't need to listen to anything he says. I've reaped the souls of many criminals. I told myself their sacrifices were necessary. I mean, keep in mind, we don't really, we don't have an idea of the population of Kanai Ward, so it's entirely possible if he's just having every single condemned murderer brought in that there is plenty. But by that logic, if I disappeared, it would be a small. You're so lame, to Yuma. Protect the city's happiness, right? Which means it's my turn. I can't run away from this just because it's happening to me. I should be sacrificed for the sake of everyone else. Oh, come on, bro. Well, wait, Master, remember what you promised. You said you'd never turn away from the truth. That's right. But I saw the truth. I actually know what it is now. And now that I do, I've realized something. If I expose the truth about this city and tell the world, what will happen to Kurumi and the others? But that doesn't matter! We are in the middle of solving this mystery labyrinth! It does! This is their problem! I may be an outsider, but this directly affects them! Will the Yuchi go after them again? Is there any way for them to live without persecution? <sighs> when I think about what's best, it's obvious I should sacrifice myself. Yes, that's the correct decision. Not as a detective, but as a human being. Doing that will allow the people of Kanai Ward to continue living in peace. I mean, they stopped they stopped the homunculi research because it was like a, a human sacrifice engine. Like they got there working on human experimentation. Oh, I can just move the camera. Is that it? I think a lot of people in chat right now are, are kind of being a little flippant with the idea of killing presumably thousands of people. Yourself? Just that on your own. I'm not going to let you. 
<laughs> the good old octopus hold. You're shouldering everything alone, and I've lost sight of who you are. That makes you no better than him. I mean, you could just not reveal it. Like that's a that's always an option. I didn't ask for this. I don't remember asking for your powers. You may not remember, but I do! You needed me. I'll never forget the words of the old you, Master. <laughs> I haven't seen a human in a while. Everyone's scared of me, so I've been stuck in the WDO library for as long as I can remember. So, uh, you really want to form a pact with me? You don't look like you're in trouble or anything. Let's just say I'm dealing with some special circumstances, and I need your help. Uh -huh. Where I'm going, the truth is suppressed, even when the mystery is solved. That's why I need you. You have a way to circumvent that. Pike mur doing murder. <laughs> You're really depending on me, huh? I may be cute, but I'm still a death god, you know. You gotta pay a fitting price to make a pact with me. I know. If it means perfectly solving the world's mysteries, I don't mind selling my soul. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That is the detective's way. Oh, you've got a few screws in your head loose, don't you? Why are you so hung up on solving mysteries, anyway? To make everyone happy, of course. Uh-huh. Huh? I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this N world. No, co like, mysteries. two circles that aren't overlapped at all? Two completely fucking unrelated statements with no correlation whatsoever? Like, like a Venn diagram where there's like one pixel of overlap and then the, everything else is completely fucking unrelated. Although it's a known fact that some truths are cruel in nature, but exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution in my mind. <laughs> are you serious? What does that even mean? I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. That's not the same thing as eradicating all mystery. Is it really so strange to wish for that? I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world. I said that? When you found out someone created a homunculus of you, and that it was part of the great global mystery? You formed a pact with me to settle things with yourself. And that's the path you chose for your perfect solution. You even sacrificed your memories and your position as number one to make it happen. So my being here with you is proof of your relentless will. What's right or wrong can change depending on who you ask. There are infinite correct answers, but the truth is different. That's not true at all. In fact, due to the subjective nature of our own senses, truth is impossible to discern in any way. There's only one definite truth. Not true at all. And that's what's inside this mystery labyrinth. Whether it's correct or not is a separate issue that you can figure out after the mystery is solved. Not when you fucking kill people, but okay. But right now, you have to expose the truth. Otherwise, nothing can be solved. If you give that up, then your life as a detective, everything you've done up to this moment, Nothing. <sighs> Master, you're not. A lot of people turn in chat turning into cinema sins right now. I'm sorry. If you can't do it by yourself, then rely on me. Just like you always do. We may not be the best partners in the world, 
We make a pretty good pair. So, don't call it quits by yourself. Exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution. I'm not the old me. You know, there are, there's a whole there's spectrum no of solutions do between doing nothing and killing a bunch of sentient beings. What? You know, this isn't this isn't a binary. And in fact, the resolution of this game will probably be somewhere between the spectrum of those two decisions that a lot of people in chat seem to have decided is are the only two. There is something I haven't given up on. I want to bring happiness to everyone. I believe that from the bottom of my heart. Keep solving mysteries. Happiness shrouded in mystery isn't real happiness. Master! Real happiness. Happiness not shrouded in mystery. We're back to platitudes. Do you believe that could exist in Kanaho? so-called perfect solution a copy couldn't accomplish it but you think you can just because you're the original you're an empty shell of a man who has lost his memories do you honestly think you can make everyone happy i'm by your side master i know shinigami let's expose these what even is there left to expose we figured everything out He's got his drip on. <laughs> okay, we're in the fucking Kingdom Hearts arena now. Terasu Corporation received a request from the UG to research homunculi. The UG planned to use these immortal synthetic humans for military purposes. Oh, this is a massive amount of money was poured into the research. And Amaterasu Why did you do this? Quickly as a result. But the UG also set up their own research facility, which pit the two organizations against each other. Like this is like this could have been neat if you hadn't Oh, up is jump, that's right. This was the birth of the homunculus based on the top detective of the WDO, number one. What? Why do, why do it this way? The first of its kind in the world. You, Makoto Kagutsuchi! The one that doesn't have glowing eyes is real. Stay out of my way. The only successful specimen in existence. We knew we we literally went through this already.
to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. As you know, I want the same thing. And that's why I'll protect everyone in Kanai War. These evil homunculi didn't ask to be made, and neither did I. Peacekeepers Yomi held the real power in Amaterasu. And upon hearing of the Yuji facility's successful experiment, Amaterasu panicked and extracted blood from all the residents of Kanai Ward to initiate Project Homunculus. The experiment failed, and the defective homunculi went for Zerg after exposure to sunlight, ravaging the city. So... This is the blank what happened to the UG research? Because they created a perfect, a perfect copy. Was there some? Spe was it just a freak accident? They succeeded. Thank you for the 100 bits, David. Uh, I can't read your uh, note in its full entirety right now because I have to hit these blue notes. But thank you very much for the 100 bits. Decided to exterminate Kanai Ward along with the defective homunculi. I won't lose. It's honestly pretty impressive that, that, that he managed to convince the world government to not do genocide. I have to defeat you! I have to save everyone! Oh shit, he turned into Gone. Oh, that's neat. Are we gonna see like giant Chad face, <laughs> Makoto? Out about the UG's inhumane research. You blackmailed them to cover up the events of the Blank Week mystery. to protect Kanai War. Ironically, all that did was create more unsolved mysteries. Still, I wanted to protect the homunculi. I had to. If I didn't, who would? I'm not sure how many of those I actually need to be hitting, but I guess I should hit them all. After your negotiations with the UG, Kanai Ward became isolated and independent. True to his word, the former CEO of Amaterasu abdicated his position to you. You immediately put an end to the homunculus research. This was to prevent the creation of any more tragic homunculi, and to hide their existence from the world. Then, posing as number one, you took advantage of the WDO. You abducted vicious criminals and brought them to Kanai War. Yeah, there was probably a better outcome than that. But I guess since he ha he has the brain of the number one detective, he is technically a cop. <laughs> so it makes sense that would be the first place for his brain to go instead of, you know, <laughs> just purchasing corpses. <laughs> Thank you, Cascade Persona, for the sub. Even if it distracted me and made me fail. <laughs> Oops. Thank you, Muckbun, for the sub. Take this. <laughs> These criminals were turned into food for the city's homunculi. 
This is the truth behind the global kidnapping case. Kind of a big hole in your plan that you didn't properly disappear. To reach a perfect solution disappear those criminals. Like, that was a real botch. Even I could have done better than that, my man. Just have them disappear at their at their moment of execution. Things changed when I discovered I was a homunculus. I've someone else since I learned there were others like me. Director Yomi was your biggest obstacle in protecting the homunculi of Kanai War. I mean, they eat the they eat the humans in meat bun form. I can't imagine that. And they have like bodies sitting around frozen that are obviously already dead. So it can't it can't possibly matter that much. Like you're shipping people all over from all over the world here. To get rid of him for you. It's not like you're throwing living Together, people into the grinder. Off with the just like you wanted. You helped Chief Yaku get his revenge from behind the scenes. Taking Dr. Weska You know, bodies start bodies rot pretty fast. Like the reason like Like corpses are are kept in freezers and then embalmed for a reason. You. Where'd you get mo where how come I only have one? You can do all this summon sword shit. I think having a really extended QT functionally what is a really extended QTE boss is insane. I'll still fight. I have to beat you. I have to save everyone. You can't just chop him, you have to solve a mystery and then immediately after we just start chopping at him. Do I have to mash? Throw him. Thanks, Shinigami. This is everything that happened in Kanai War. Rokoto Kabushichi. This in Kanai War is your excuse. You tried to enshrine everything, including your own crimes and mystery. Could have found a better solution.
sorry, Shinigami. Can you wait a bit? You wanted someone to stop you from the beginning, didn't you? And were you hoping to be punished for your crimes? Well, you're a cop, so that makes sense. Is that why you led me here? I don't fight to lose. As the real me, you should know that only one of us will leave this mystery labyrinth. My intention was to review our answers. There's no way we're killing this guy. It looks like the conclusion has been made. I realized something the first time I came to this city. There was no perfect solution for Kanai Ward's mysteries. There's a great contradiction here. In order to follow through with the perfect solution, I had to commit another crime. I despise unsolved mysteries more than anyone else. And yet, I ended up creating even more. The mysteries have consumed me. Connie Ward can't be trapped in the rain for much longer. You can't live in a world of lies forever. We have to put an end to this. I guess we do. I know it's our only option, but can you really do it? It's a cruel decision to make. What's wrong? If you refuse, you'll be yielding to me. I'll become death or the devil himself for the sake of Kanai Ward. Now, choose. Either you reap my soul, destroy the mystery labyrinth and expose, or give up and remain here forever. What is your solution? I get to, it's not, this doesn't matter. It's gonna be. Master, I already said everything I wanted to say. In the end, it's your decision. I believe in you. What's wrong? Destroy me already! Otherwise, you will die here instead! Thank you, Impossible Wallaby, for the follow. Do I have to walk towards one? I guess I do. If you choose to destroy the Mystery Labyrinth, that will destroy the Mystery Labyrinth and kill the culprit. It would solve the global kidnapping case, but there would be chaos in Kanai Ward. The world will know about the homunculi. And who knows what It doesn't matter. Stop trying to, to pretend me that it matters. To make everyone this game doesn't have multiple endings. Solution. The only way to do that is... Sure. Yeah, sure. I've decided. The mystery that's a relief. I knew you'd make the right choice. I leave the rest to you. I can finally let it end. No, I won't be the one to destroy the mystery labyrinth. What? I'd only need to gather evidence and expose Kanai Ward's secrets to solve this case. There is no place for emotion in that. But that's not how I want things to be. That's not the perfect solution I'm looking for. It's not the perfect solution unless everyone is saved. Do you still not get it? Idealism solves nothing. It's not just about my ideals. I have a plan. Dun 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 what are you going to do? I've put a lot of thought into this. When it comes to the perfect solution that can bring true happiness to the people of Kanai Ward, there is no answer. In the end, detectives are just outsiders. I don't believe a solution brought by an outsider will make everyone happy. So instead, why not let the people of Kanai Ward decide for themselves? What do you mean by that? Tell everyone in Kanai Ward the truth and let them choose their own futures. Have the people decide how to fix this problem. You're leaving it to others to solve? That's your solution? It's not my solution. It's everyone's. I'll let everyone in Kanai Ward do what I can't do on my own. Even if a great detective reached out from above, they would never touch the people here. Only the city's residents can solve the contradictions facing them. Do you really think they can accept the truth? 
I'm sure of it. I believe in them. They could probably accept not being the originals. I'm not sure they could accept the whole uh, we killed ourselves and are eating corpses part. That part will probably be a little bit harder to uh, swallow. And I'm sure you do too. After all, you love the people of I wouldn't give a shit though. I'd be like, oh, okay, whatever. It's like, it's like the secret that makes you insane in Battle Angel Alita. I'd be like, I would simply not go insane. It's not a big deal. So whether it's right or wrong, at least it's something everyone will decide upon together. That would be for the best. I think that is the perfect solution this city needs. But how do you intend on telling everyone the truth? They might not believe it. That's where you come in. I want you to directly tell them everything. Not as the homunculus of the WDO's number one, but as Amaterasu's CEO, who has been protecting Kanai Ward. I think everyone will listen to you. I want you to work together with everyone who lives in this city to find the answer to this unsolvable mystery. Solving the mystery in the real world will destroy the mystery labyrinth that was spawned from it, right? Labyrinth is the physical embodiment of a mystery in the real world, after all. If the mystery in the real world vanishes, so will its manifestation here. That settles it. You need to leave here alive so you can destroy the mystery labyrinth from the real world. And you intend to stay here in my place? Master, I think you already know this, but that means you will die. Yeah, I know. Oh, so it didn't matter what I picked. Are you sure about this? You're sacrificing your own life just to let others find the solution. I can't believe a detective would make that choice. No, probably not. But remember, I'm just a trainee. Huh. I've done everything alone until now. Even before coming to this city when I was the WDO's number one. I've always decided everything on my own to try to reach the perfect solution. We share the same DNA. And yet, you're trusting someone else to find the solution for this. That's why you've placed all the burden on yourself. But you're taking on more than you can carry. On the other hand, even though I've lost You so really much, did, but okay. I was able to grow from it. I'm far from perfect, so all I can do is rely on others to make up for my shortcomings. You do always rely on others whenever you're in trouble. But to rely on others, well, it's like you're entrusting yourself to them. You believe in them and put your fates in their hands. If you can't figure out the perfect solution, then why not entrust it to someone else? Well, that's one sure way for Master to solve this. You're always letting others make up your mind for you. <laughs> Can you cancel coalescence on your own? Yes. Whoever wields coalescence can revoke it at any time. And if coalescence is cancelled, what will happen to him? He was never supposed to be in here to begin with, so he'll be tossed back into the real world. Well then, all that's left is for you to end your coalescence. I'll stay here and wait for you to destroy the mystery labyrinth from the real world. I'm sure your soul will vanish before then, Master. And what if I betrayed you instead? Even if I leave, I may not tell everyone the truth. You would never do that. It's how I know I can trust you with this. <laughs> You'll never be a great detective master. I've been saying it all along, but you're just too naive. <laughs> you're right about that. You've 
got a good partner. I see. You used to solve everything on your own. But since you lost everything along with your memories, you accepted the help of your partner and surpassed your former self. <laughs> How ironic. Very well. You can count on me. I'll take care of the rest. I'm now going to cancel my coalescence. Save the world, my final message. So before I die, do you want to like make out or? Well, he's gone. Yeah. By the way, master, you can still reconsider this. If the soul of the real culprit gets reaped, the mystery labyrinth will be destroyed as usual. Right, I know, I know. But destroying the mystery labyrinth from outside is a smart idea for a goober like you. Though you did drop the ball right at the end. Even now you can't be nice? It may not be the perfect solution I wanted, but if everyone in Kanai Ward understands... Aww, but it's such a shame. I wanted to make you a detective greater than number one himself. But I guess this is it. Whoa, what's going on? Hmm? What do you mean? It's the Mystery Labyrinth's emergency exit. It's the Mr. Ginsey's exit. Emergency exit? An emergency exit, huh? Well, there is one, kinda. There is? But it doesn't solve anything. You'll just go right back to the mess you came from. Besides, to use the emergency exit, you'll have to pay a heavy heavy price and that is don't worry about it using it here wouldn't help anyway huh this door is the emergency exit you'll go back to the moment makoto was pointing a gun at you before we entered the mystery labyrinth but he should be fine now so i'm sure you can leave without worry wait hold on it's that easy what about the heavy price oh it's not much. It'll just cancel our pact. What? But if that happens, your memories will come back. Maybe this would actually be better for you. I can get my memories back if I go through that door? You got it. But what will happen to you if our pact is canceled? Hmm? Nothing you should worry about. Once you end our pact, you'll forget all about me and the mystery labyrinths. Huh? And that's how it goes with death gods. It's why our existence isn't exactly widely known. I see. The same goes for the people who entered the mystery labyrinth using coalescence. They forget all about it. But, but what will happen to you? Will you... Hmm. I can either return to the Book of Death and sleep for centuries, or vanish with this mystery labyrinth. I actually have no idea. It's the first time anybody's used the emergency exit. I figured it'd be okay to let you use it, Master. Anyway, I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> What's with that face? You should be happy right now. You'll get your memories back and finally be free of your annoying partner. How could I be happy about this? You've helped me so much. Isn't there any way we can leave here together? Don't do that, Master. You should be saying, I never want to see your ugly face again and take off like you just hit the jackpot. You should tell me that you hated our time together. Otherwise, you'll make me second guess myself. Hey! Before you lost your memories, you solved cases without anyone's help, right? Technically true. So I've heard. I don't remember. Well, you will in a second. Well, because you lost your memories, you were forced to depend on others. You and number one began walking different paths.
But in the end, you solved the mystery of Kanai Ward, even when your past self couldn't. Maybe before you lost your memories, you planned for all of this to happen. You figured out that the perfect solution you could come up with on your own wasn't enough. So maybe you trusted the version of yourself that lost his memories to find it. And then you went and trusted the people of Kanai Ward, Master. That's all the more reason why I don't want to forget our time together. Otherwise, I'll never be able to apologize to you enough. There's no other way. That's just how it works. Well, if by some miracle you remembered for just a moment, I hope you make your wish come true. You know, about wanting to eradicate all unsolved mysteries in the world and making people happy. <laughs> hey, come on, Master! Boys aren't supposed to cry! I, I can't help it. Aww. Come on, pull yourself together. You better stand up and walk straight, even without yours truly. I'm putting my trust in you, Master. Yeah, I promise one day I'll show you a world where everyone is happy. I swear. Good. There's no time. You better hurry, or the mystery labyrinth will absorb you. That's a pretty cheap doorknob. <laughs> Thank you, Waki Maki Plus, for the sub. Thank you, Shinigami. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Kodaka is gonna be dropping a sequel to this. And and if he does, I will not be seated. Sad to say. Yeah, I, I'd need, I'd actually need to go, I'd actually need somebody who knew about how I felt about this one and played it to be like, it's nothing like that first one. Doesn't it? But yeah, he, he, sh it's sure, f he sure wanted it to be set up like it would be his new franchise. And I'm like, I don't think this is going to take off my man. I've gotten that trainee detective to agree. The preparations are complete. Now, let's begin. I'll be taking all your memories. You sure about this? I would think number one of the WDO could solve the case all on his own. No. Where I'm going, that's not sufficient to make everyone happy. Besides, it's best to pack light for a journey. You sound like someone about to commit suicide. I'm signing a pact with a death god. It's basically the same as dying. <laughs> You're right about that. I mean, you'll be a different person when you wake up. Look after me when I do. I know you won't be able to say much due to our pact, but please guide me on the path to becoming a detective. I'm putting my trust in you. You really are crazy. Nobody should trust a death god with their life. I have a feeling you and I will do well together. You sure you're brave enough to be my partner? You're not gonna whine the whole time, are you? Well, since you've entrusted yourself to me, I'll be your mentor. I'll turn you from a little fledgling to a great detective. I look forward to it. Now, let's begin. Are you ready to give everything for the troop? Yes, of course. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think... 
Like, I feel like he would definitely want to include Shinigami again, but... That's so weird. Earlier. I'm serious. I will show you a world where everyone is happy. Even if it's a different version of me, I promise I'll make it happen. So you're fine with every part of the pact? Yeah, I really don't... Yeah, I... I yes, I have of course. I have trouble. You better keep your end of the bargain. I have Even trouble picturing what a sequel to this could look like. Because obviously it would have so to have a whole new main character and cast. I would certainly hope it has a fucking different structure. This game didn't bomb the one untaken name. This game sold really well in Japan. It just didn't sell for shit over here because it was Switch exclusive. Yeah, this game, this game sold really well in Japan. I mean, it, there, there is no Switch buff in Japan, Tentacle 20 X, XDX. Nobody plays games on PlayStation or Xbox in Japan. There is only Switch and PC, but mostly Switch. Like, there is no Switch buff. That's just where games are in Japan. More rain. That's like saying it got the food buff in that it's a thing that you eat to live. Until recently, I despised this rain. No, the it PS5. Just Here's the thing. Sad. The PS5 has been dead in Japan for like almost a decade. But now I see it. And, and the PS5 is really dead, because most most of the PS5 sold in Japan were scalped overseas. So there's only like one or two million PS5 users in Japan. Nobody plays on PlayStation in Japan. The rain isn't falling on me, but rather, I am ascending toward it. At least, that's how it feels. Yeah, to put... Yeah. Well, I suppose that's enough sentimentality for today. Time to go shopping. Yeah, um, this game sold 300,000 month one in Japan, which is a lot. Like, that's a lot. First, a new raincoat. Yeah, Sony really, Sony really needs to get their shit together in Japan. Hi, Kurumi. I've got your order right here. Ta-da! Amaterasu Corporation's brand spanking new raincoat. It'll easily block out both rain and sunlight. Thank you. Although Japan also hate fucking hates Astrobot. Because sure the new Trails game outsold it almost Amaterasu on both now. like both Sony both Sony platforms separate, PS4 and PS5 separate, both outsold Astrobot. Just a bit ago, they mainly exported stuff. So we never knew what they were making. But Mr. Makoto taking the helm of both Amaterasu and Kanai Ward really changed it. Which, which makes sense. Like, Astrobot is kind of it's nice corporate. A local business invested in our Astrobot interests. doesn't really have any of the design quirks I feel like a Japanese audience would like that much. So it's not surprising they hate that little freak. Also, Sony has just considered Japan second class for like a decade, so it's not it's not shocking that people don't have a lot of fondness for the fucking corporation at this right now. Well, I'm sure Mr. Makoto can hand. You got that right. Glory to the future of Kanai Ward. Uh, by the way, what's with the heavy bag? You going somewhere? Yeah, something like that. I see. Well, Take care. Good rain to you. Likewise. Good rain to you too. Next on the shopping list is right. 
body cream. Oh, wow. So are you telling me that Makoto really easily had products designed to protect the homunculi from the effects of the sun? And that the fact that he that his whole plan was something that he didn't fucking think through for more than a second at all? Who would have thought that there were solutions other than developing the giant torture machine? We finally get to talk to this lady. Excuse me. Do you have the body cream I ordered? Uh, of course. Here you go. Specialized body cream that'll protect you from harmful sunlight. It's perfect for us homunculi. I mean that one of the things I actually do like is the is the idea that Makoto that Yuma gave up his memories because he knew he wouldn't be able to do it by himself, but also knew that he could never bring himself to trust anybody else, and Makoto is the same way. I like that element of it. It's perfect for us homunculi. I can't believe it. Yeah, Thunderhog has it right. I never would have imagined. Oh, well, that's life. Oh, it was all so sudden. That day, Mr. Makoto startled all of us in Kanai Wars with that emergency broadcast. Seeing his face behind the mask was surprising enough. Who could have guessed we were all monstrous among maybe, maybe he didn't tell them about the flesh part. We're not monsters. Yeah, maybe, maybe he kept the, the meat would. bun part a secret. Right. That's what Mr. I would have kept said. that part a secret and then cr come up with a replacement for it and, th and then just never told anybody. Still, it's hard to accept it. And I'm not talking just about myself here. Everyone feels the same way. For now, I think we should just take it slow. If we can accept things slowly, we can live our lives with more hope. Right. We're immortal, after all. We've got plenty of time. Besides, we all made the decision together. After we voted on the referendum, we chose to follow Mr. Makoto. So yeah, like he said, we need to take it slow and live with hope. Yeah. I think that's right. Okie dokie. Next is... Oh, right. I need to buy a map. I hope Metaphor Refantagio goes on sale on Black Friday, because I really don't want to pay $70 for that game. But also it keeps getting 10s. So... Since then... The people in town have stopped eating meat buns. No one wants them anymore, now that we know what they're made of. I think that's a natural response. Our bodies may be artificial, but our hearts are still human. So what, so what, what? Are you gonna, was there a solution? Did you come up with, are you just gonna be like, no, we just, we'll just tank that shit? I'm not sure you can tank, that's not a thing you can tank? If you could tank it, why did you build the Torment Nexus in the first place? Like, I, I, I'm not totally clear on this one, brah. Sis. Um, excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, maybe they could be like, I don't know, drinking that they could be it could be some I don't know. Oh sorry. How can I help? Do you have what I ordered? Uh the map, right? You want the world map. Yes, that's right. Now that Kanai Ward is no longer isolated. I mean you could also you make like blood sausage from human blood. You could literally have people donate blood. You could even pay them money for it. I'm so giddy about it that I can't help but read every one. I understand. It's been a while since we were able to interact with anyone outside of the city. There have been a lot of problems, but Mr. Makoto is handling the negotiations, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It Although they might not want to eat human what? blood sausage either. <sighs> Mr. Makoto is so amazing. Even if it was decided by the referendum, he quickly ended our isolation and promised to negotiate with the unified government as well. Although he did say it was his way of atoning. 
He was ready to turn himself in, but we stopped him from doing so with that referendum. Honestly, he doesn't have to force himself to work so hard. It'd be awful if he ever collapsed from it all. Oh, but maybe homunculi don't get tired? Hmm, I'm not sure myself. I mean, it would make sense. You regenerate all your cells. He better not overwork himself. He is Kane Ward's leader. Being leader of us homunculi. I mean, I mean, they're saying that people voted him to be the leader. The coexistence between humanity and homunculi has just begun. Anyway, about that world map. What made you want to get it? Um... It's a secret. Sorry. It involves a high school girl's crush. A, a crush, huh? Um... So the next up, I must have my precious multi-pack of instant ramen. So did the other master detectives survive? Because it was really obviously faked with the pink blood. But they haven't... Like, we, I guess that'll be the very last thing we'll see that they survived and they were just somewhere else during that whole fucking sequence. All the meat bun shops vanished from town, but ramen shops popped up in the did the, did the Did the Yuma Coke, the real Yuma Coco head, find something that worked better than... Oh yeah, there was that line about him changing the recipe, so maybe his shit is just... This exactly the same, but does not involve human meat, making Makoto look like a complete fucking idiot. Oh, Kurumi! Hi, you look busy. I sure am, but busy is great for business. I need to go inspect the grand openings for our three brand new locations. In a strange twist of fate. He appeared in Kanai War, using his passion for cooking to develop ramen. Ultimately, he turned that ramen into something with all the nutrients a homunculus would need. The real lesson here is that a cop is still a cop and can't make good decisions. And of course, it's super yummy, says everyone. Fate can be such an enigma. I mean, if, if he, maybe his forte was, maybe he has a forte in its cooking. Although I originally made a contract with him, I ended up following him here out of guilt. This city was a shock to my system at first. I'm fine with this. The ramen shop of my dreams. So I think coming here was the right call. Seriously though. It's it's a pretty huge so L for Makoto that he didn't even have somebody trying to figure out alternate nutrition sources than the human flesh. Yes. I think so too. Oh, that's right. May I please have a multi-pack of instant ramen? For now, I need about a month's supply. Huh? A month? Sure thing, but why do you need so much? <laughs> it's a secret. Thank you. You want to get a bite to eat while you're here? No, I'm okay for today. All right then. Well, good rain to you. Yeah, good rain to you too. That's it for the shopping. I safely I should head to the nocturnal Oh, are they gonna leave in the submarine? That'd be cool. I guess I should give Kodaka credit that he realized the end of the game needed to be the coolest part. But man, it was sure a slog to get here. Okay, they all lived. Let's get going. Saying goodbye to this How place. long were you even here? After all is said and done, I'm gonna miss it. We have shared many memories here. But departure is just the start of a new adventure. Be sure not to forget anything before we set sail. I mean, he's still probably he's probably just in the fruit uh, in the uh fireplace. You've already forgotten something. Oh, <laughs> so true. Hey everyone! You're all still here! I'm glad I made it in time. 
Kurumi, you came to see us off? Where are the others? Are any of my fans with you? No, it's just me. Huh? Oh, well, maybe they were too shy to come along. Wait, where's Vivia? Vivia? What are you doing? Hey, Kurumi. I figured if I stayed inside a suitcase, someone would carry me. Long trips are exhausting. All journeys can be life-threatening. There is no peace or quiet. <laughs> you never change, Vivia. Wow. You all really are leaving, huh? After that incident, we stayed at the agency to monitor what would happen. But our work here is done. The city will be fine. Yeah, it's time we stepped off the stage. A bunch of detectives just sticking around isn't a great look. That's not true. Detectives okay, are... we get it. You want to ride him. Kanai Ward is free. If you ever need us, we shall fly to your aid. I've spoken to Makoto as well. If Kanai Ward ever needs detectives, he can call us anytime. Polara Nightmare will be at his service. Obviously, I don't work for cheap. So, where will you go now? For now, we're heading back to WDO headquarters. We don't know what'll happen after that. I'm sure we'll be dispatched to some other job. <laughs> the World Detective Organization can be such... No, they're normal. Drivers. Um... I thought WDO had was that fake? On that terrorist attack. Oh God! Come on. That How was fake. Do I have to explain it to you? The explosion footage we saw was all a sham. I guess they needed Makoto to have not done 9/11. It'd be kind of hard to be cool with him still being the leader if he had done 9/11. anyone do such a thing for what purpose it was all done by makoto it wasn't the only thing he fabricated he made it look like we died too yeah i figured that out from the fact you're not dead he prepared clothes identical to our outfits and also found skeletons similar to our body types yeah i thought everyone was dead i can't believe you got duped like that karumi nothing can kill us there were letters written by everyone, and I was told it looked like your handwriting. I hear that was thanks to Makoto's coalescence. Fortes are indeed formidable. I would expect nothing less of number one's homunculus. Homunculus? Why <laughs> don't you get it? How many times do I have to explain everything? My apologies. I like the element of, of Fubuki being covered with, with like, VCR emblems. Do you even know how long ago that was? After you were knocked out, you all woke up on the top floor of Kanai Tower, right? Yeah. It was Makoto's room. We were trapped in there. While we were locked up, the final battle took place. Kurumi, you were there, right? Yes. But only for half of it, really. To think this was all for the final showdown. The the gimmick seems to be that she, like, ditzily makes correct assumptions because she's like, she like locks in in bimbo mode. It was nothing but a ploy by Makoto to lure Yuma here, who took the lead role. Jeez. It's all so unbelievable. Then again, oh, yeah, she's a bimbo savant. City is too. Yet, what I still struggle to comprehend is that Yuma was number one of the WDO. <sighs> right. 
Even I didn't realize it. Who would have thought my man is the top detective of the WDO? Former top detective. He already left the organization. It is such a waste for him to simply discard his position as number one. His letter of resignation was submitted before he lost his memories. Huh. He had hoped that by quitting, he could bring change to the organization. In this Has that ever worked life, once? A detective must follow their own creed to solve each case. He took the first steps to make that reality happen. I think it maybe I should quit too. Work as a detective is getting more and more exhausting. You were so quick to call it quits. But where did Yuma? I think it's fine to call him Yuma. It feels better that way. He vanished without a word. Damn. I have no idea where he could be. <sighs> Kurumi, I'm sure you're worried too. Huh? Um, I'm not sure if worried is exactly the right word. <sighs> to say to everyone you're going to find him right huh it doesn't take a detective to notice the giant backpack you're carrying kurumi are you really going to try to find yuma do you know where he went you still want to go i haven't said goodbye yet actually i refuse to say goodbye I had a lot of fun spending time with Yuma. I've always admired detectives. And investigating with one was like a dream come true. That's why I want to be with him. Even if he's different now, Yuma will always be Yuma. Come Kurumi on. being the next protagonist the would be funny, but I don't think that's gonna tell. that's the case. It, w it would be funny to pair up Kurumi and Shinigami, though. That would be really funny. I've always wanted to take a trip. It's why I got permission from Mr. Makoto to travel. It'll be fine. I'm sure I can find him. Never underestimate my abilities as an informant. Right. I believe you can do it, Kurumi. A master detective and former number one of the WDO and a homunculus informant. Yeah, I think you two would make a great team. Well, come on, we should get going already. Since he quit, the WDO is in a state of chaos. Number one's position is still vacant. An election to decide the next number one will be held among the detectives soon. We need to hurry home. Maybe I'll nominate myself. Hey, why are you sighing? If you find Yuma, give him my regards. Also, tell him I'm still waiting for him to pay up. <laughs> right. I don't think this is gonna be, I don't think this is a sequel, guys. I think this is as simple as, you know, everybody's off to a new thing. Bye. Yeah, it's just called an open ending. Kurumi, if you ever decide to ditch Yuma for me, give me a call anytime. <laughs> when you do, I hope you'll introduce me to your friends too. And even your friends' friends. See ya. <laughs> Bye, Kurumi. Let's meet again in our dreams. Thanks for everything, Desuhiko. It is so hard to say farewell, but all adventures involve such partings. Well then, I must continue my own adventure. Please take care of yourself, Kurumi. 
And of course, I must thank the chief as well. With all my heart, farewell, everyone. Bubuki, I hope to see you somewhere out there in the world. gonna carry me. Great. <sighs> Walking is way too much effort. It was rather comfortable in there. Okay. I know this may sound like a bad joke, given what you are, but <sighs> I want to die someday. Please take care, Vivia. truth it's all thanks to this detective agency i'm really truly grateful Is that it Oh, hey, it's a normal train, not the death train. Dear Karumi, I'm sorry for suddenly disappearing on you. I thought I should take a little trip. From here on out, I intend to travel the world. There are still cities everywhere in need of detectives. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. So I have to go. This is my dream. And also, an important promise I made to someone. In the meantime, I want you to hold on to this- Oh, okay, so maybe this is a sequel hook for her to be the next protagonist. Someday, once I'm finished, I'll come back for it. Someday, he says. I may be immortal, but I'm not that patient. That's seriously it? Oh no, there's no way to skip it. Jesus, thank you, Muckbun, for the $50. Thank you for thank you for thinking it's a good stream. This really started to strain on me by the end. Mostly <coughs> mostly because I'm not <coughs> mostly because I'm not used to being live seven days in a row. That was a new experience. 
Young Yi was in the game. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be quite as long as it actually was. Like, I expected, like, 25 to 30, like the Danganronpas usually are. I didn't expect it to be closer to 40. I do have a couple of, uh, other... fun games to play during October, although uh, I'm going to take it easy for at least this next week. Oh, thank you, Daihime-sama, for the raid. Uh, unfortunately, we're at the end of this game, and I am also about to end soon, and I'll be dumping you guys off somewhere else. I'm sorry. But thank you very much for the raid. Fun. Funny how that works. I don't need that at all. Zoom worked on this? Bang Zoom is a is a dub studio. They did they did some they I think they did they did like a Southeast Asian dub English dub a Southeast English dub for the Southeast Asian market of Dragon Ball Super that has all kinds of wacky things like the the English voice actor for Monokuma is Krillin. Oh shit, it's Miami? Or maybe Dubai. This looks like the opening of MGR. Please. I need information. This really looks like the opening of MGR. Yeah, it does look like fucking hardline Miami, doesn't it?
It would be funny if the sequel's just like sand code. It's sand code. Okay. That's good, Die. The Secret of Mana... I, I never beat Secret of Mana, but I, but I enjoyed the, what little of it I played. Who should I send y'all to? Ooh. Luke's Lucifer is playing Cultic. That was my uh, number two game of the year, the year it came out, which I think was 2022. Yeah, we'll be back sometime soon for Gal Guardian. And I'll, uh, and I'll announce the other uh, October streams I intend to do on Big Think. One of them is Ghost Trick. See ya.